So let's open up a new metric part file and let's take a more detailed look at these geometric relationships. So I'll go up just to the line command, start with the line command and I'm just going to draw four lines just at odd angles, okay? And I'll close it off. Now I'm going to go to the horizontal vertical relationship and I'm going to touch on that and see how that makes that vertical. I'll touch on this one, horizontal, and this one. Now I'm not looking at this square on. If I spin this around, you see I'm at an angle. And I'd like to look at this square on. And so I can just go down and say I'd like to look at the front view. And so I'm looking at this from the front. And I can touch on any line and grab this and move this. I should be able to move this up and down. I'll highlight the line and I'll grab right on the corner. You see how I can move that in and out. Make adjustments, make it smaller, wider. If I'd like to also make this horizontal, I'll just touch on the horizontal constraint and make it horizontal. And again, if I go and try to pull this around now, I click on any one of these lines, grab the corner, it's going to stay as a rectangle. I, nothing I can do to change that from a rectangle because these lines are always going to be horizontal and vertical. Now if I went to the equal constraint, clicked on the equal constraint and said I'd like this line to be equal to this line. Now no matter what I do, if I go back to the select button, click on this line, I grab it right on the red dot in the corner and move that, that is always going to stay square. It has to. These lines vertical horizontal, this line's equal to this line. So no matter what I do, I'm always going to have a square. Now if I'd like to draw a circle, I'll go up to the circle by center point. And if li I'd like to put a circle somewhere near the center, and I'll put it a little bit off center, right there. But I'd like to center it now with constraints. And again, I'll go up to my horizontal vertical constraints. Now I can't see the center, but when I sweep through that, it comes up and it highlights you see a little cross right there. So now I can say I'd like that to line up with the center of that line. And if I'd like to center it vertically, I'll go sweep through it again, get the center, and touch on the midpoint there. And so no matter what I do, that circle is going to stay in the center. No matter where I move it around, always going to stay in the center. Now if I go and draw another circle, let's just place a circle out here, a couple of different sizes. And then I'll go to my concentric constraint. And a concentric constraint, if I say I'd like this to be concentric to this, it grabs a circle and puts them on the same center point. I could say I'd like this to be concentric to this. And again, if I'd like to adjust the circle, and I can do this with dimensions, or I can just modify the circles. Now if I go back to the Select button and grab the corner, click on a line, and grab right on the red dot there, and I pull this in, you can see I can put the box inside the circles. And I can pull it back out. Now if I'd like the circle to be tangent, if I come down to this tangent constraint and say I'd like this circle to be tangent to this line. 